السلام عليكم جاء في معجم أحاديث الإمام المهدي عليه السلام حديث رقم 659 في حديث طويل قال فيتقدم المهدي من ذريتي فيصلي إلى قبلة جده رسول الله صلى الله عليه وآله ويسيرون جميعا في المهدي وأصحابه إلى أن يأتوا بيت المقدس ثم ذكر الحرب بينه وبين الدجال وذكر أنهم يقتلون عسكر الدجال من أوله إلى آخره الدجال في هذا الحديث يملك عسكرا يقتلهم الإمام المهدي وأصحابه في الحديث رقم 427 من نفس المصدر أي معجم أحاديث الإمام المهدي جاء ما يأتي ليهبطن الدجال خوز وكرمان في ثمانين ألفا هؤلاء الثمانون ألفا بعض جيش الدجال على ما هو راجح أي أنهم ممكن أن يكونوا غير أولئك النازلين في بيت المقدس In our investigation, we discovered that some of Satan's soldiers are also high-ranking officers in the United States military. Here at San Francisco's Presidio Army Base, for example, Lieutenant Colonel Michael Aquino led a double life as a satanic high priest. The colonel's cult is listed in the San Francisco telephone book, and his phone answering machine boasts of his affiliation. This is the Temple of Set. The temple is the only international satanic religious institution fully recognized by the United States government. Indeed, the army does officially recognize Satanism as a legitimate religion and supplies chaplains with this guy who are ministering to the satanic soldier. Yet unofficially some charge that army bases have become sanctuaries for devil worshippers. Just last month, under a full moon, I took a midnight tour of the Presidio grounds with police investigator Ed Abanovsky. Are you saying that there was a satanic cult active right here on the Army Bay? Yes. We believe so. There's evidence to substantiate that. They had the satanic rituals going on. There's an altar in there, and all of the graffiti on the wall would indicate that. Let's see if I can see it. How'd you find this place? This is a uh, fortification during World War II. During World War II, where they had uh, gun batteries. I can see a pentagram painted on the wall. I can see the words Prince of Darkness. On this wall, I see several inverted crosses and other obvious uh, satanic ritualistic paintings or symbols. Joseph, we've agreed to conceal your identity, but you are an officer in the United States Army. That's correct. And you were an officer in the United States Army during the time you were a member of this satanic organization. Yes. Did the authorities at the Presidio know that a satanic organization was active on their base during the time that you were a member? They were very much aware of it, yes. The present base commander, Colonel Rafferty, says that today at least... I know of no satanic activities whatsoever in this area. Satanism may be a constitutionally protected religion, but similar to another recent case at the United States Military Academy at West Point, here charges surface connecting ritual child abuse at the Presidio Daycare Center to the Devil Cult. It was here, parents and others allege, that as many as 60 young children were ritualistically abused by soldiers of Satan. What actually was done to the kids? Uh, oral copulation, sodomy, uh, defecation, uh, they were urinated on. On why those charges were brought against you? Well, the entire time that uh, the so-called child molestation scandal was occurring at the Presidio, the time period when um, uh, these terrible events were supposedly taking place, I was assigned to the National Defense University in Washington, D.C. Probable victims numbered at 68, many of whom had contracted venereal disease. 22 families filed $66 million in claims against the Army, claiming that criminal charges against Michael Aquino were dropped due to pressure from the Army. General Aquino admitted to renting the German castle where the Nazi SS were formed and reenacting the secret ceremony among fellow intelligence officers dressed in full Nazi regalia. General Aquino is now the highest ranking officer in the National Security Agency along with General Black and General Hayden. It is important to remember that General Aquino 
is first and foremost a military intelligence officer with over 40 years experience in counterinsurgency operations and an expert in psychological warfare. General Aquino's psychological warfare campaign has started or infiltrated cults and other closed systems as part of a concerted effort to control large numbers of people and to destabilize the centers of constitutional and legal authority both here in the United States and in other nations. أيضا عن أمير المؤمنين عليه السلام في حديث يذكر في بعض العلامات التي تسبق خروج القائم عليه السلام يقول وغلبت الروم على الشام وغلبت أهل أرمينيا وصرخ الصاروخ بالعراق هتك الحجاب وافتضت العذراء وظهر على ملعين الدجال ثم ذكر خروج القائم عليه السلام المعجم الموضوع لأحاديث الإمام المهدي عليه السلام في الصفحة 29 والعلم كما هو واضح علامة رمزية تتخذها الدول للإشارة إلى كياناتها وصراخ الصارخ في العراق بظهور علم الدجال إشارة إلى الاحتلال الأمريكي للعراق ويشير إليه صراحة الحديث الذي يصف دخول الدجال إلى العراق من جهة جبل سنان في البصرة فعن رسول الله صلى الله عليه وآله في معجم أحاديث الإمام المهدي جزء الثاني الصفحة 63 وأيضا في الفتن بن حماد قال أول ما يرده الدجال سنام جبل مشرف على البصرة هو أول ما يرده الدجال ومعروف أن القوات الأمريكية دخلت العراق قادمة من الكويت من الجبل المدموع وعلى أي حال نحن نعيش عصر الظهور ونشهد بأم أعين احتلال العراق من قبل القوات الأمريكية الدجال الأكبر كما أن المعرفة بالسياسة الأمريكية توفر لنا فرصة نادرة لفهم المراد من التعبيرات الرمزية التي يوصف بها الدجال من قبيل المسيح الدجال الأعور الدجال وكونه يأتي معه جبل من خبز أو جبل من طعام وجبل من نار حماره خطوته كذا ميل بين أذني حماره كذا ميل في جبهته كافر ينادي فيهم إلي أوليائي أنا ربكم الأعلى رئيس الأمريكي بوش من المسيحيين المتدينين أو لنقل ممن يظهرون التدين بالمسيحية قد صرح في خطاباته كثيرا بأن الحرب التي يخوضها ضد الإسلام حرب صليبية وبالخصوص الحرب في العراق بل صرح علنا أن ما دفعه لحرب العراق رؤية رأى فيها الرب سيد المسيح حسب زعمه يأمره باحتلال العراق Final question. Yes, sir. You said famously, when you looked into Vladimir Putin's eyes, you saw his soul. Yeah. When you look into Benedict the Sixteenth's eyes, what do you see? God. Good way to end the interview. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Bush said to all of us, "I'm driven with a with a mission from God. God would tell me, George, go and end." this fight those terrorists in Afghanistan and I did and then God would tell me George go and end the tyranny in Iraq and I did and now again now again I feel God's words coming to me go get the Palestinians there get the Israelis their security and get peace in the Middle East and by God I'm gonna do it بتأديب شعب الخطيئة في بابل ولعل العبارة الأخيرة مقتبسة من الإنجيل وهي واحدة من علامات ظهور المصلح المنتظر وأما أن الدجال أعور فلأنه لا يرى إلا بعين المصلحة المادية وإن ادعى ما ادعى من حقوق الإنسان والمصالح الشعوب وإلى غير ذلك من المبادئ التي يسوقونها لخداع الناس ومعلوم أن السياسة الأمريكية وغير خفي على الناس لا تحسب حسابا لأي شيء عدا مصالحها المادية فجبل الخبز أو جبل الطعام هو تعبير رمزي عن القوة الاقتصادية وحالة الرفاه المادية التي تستخف بها أمريكا أتباعها وجبل النار واضح أنها ترمز 
إلى القوة الحربية الفتاكة التي تخيف بها الحكومات والشعوب التي نسيت أن لا قوة إلا بالله والحمار هو طائراتها أو باخراتها ووسائلها التي تسرع بها وتسارع بها لاضطهاد الشعوب وكل من يقف أمامها يقول لها لا على سياستها ومبادئها وأما الأذنين فهي ترمز ربما بكل وضوح أظن إلى المخابرات Compartmentalization of memory was what the government was interested in because they figured that if a person couldn't think to bring to mind abuse, they wouldn't be able to think to bring to mind government secrets, government perversions, or anything else they wanted compartmentalized in the brain. My experience as a mind control slave on a White House Pentagon level was extreme. Yes, I would, Ted. Um, it's real scary for me, but I'd like to um, go on public record saying that um, my owner under mind control was um, Bob Hope and that um, I was abused and used as a mind control sex slave by um, Ronald Reagan and um, a lot of different presidents, LBJ, Reagan, Ford, and um, I was programmed to have computerized um, mind files by Henry Kissinger um, where I was used as an operative within the intelligence faction of the government um, targeting people that, that he and Nelson Rockefeller um, had an agenda to bring in certain individuals into the fold, they called it, for, to work in, on behalf of the New World Order. And so they used me to manipulate and blackmail people in order to bring them in. Oh. 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 Oh.